This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Kicking back a little bit, just listening to the news. You know, there's not much going on out here. Well, first off, we got uh, little Dirk obsessed with Takashi. He's trying to sell his merch, and now he involves Takashi. He says, trying to sell 55K in merch, like somebody's albums, and then he plugs some company that probably gave him some money to promote their company, okay? It's not even his merch, or maybe it is his merch with another company. I don't know, but the guy needs to stop being obsessed with Takashi because he gave us a clear statement. He said, they offered me $3 million. I didn't take it. You'll never hear me speak of him again. And all we have heard since then every day is him speaking of Takashi. If he's the voice of the streets, he needs to be the voice of the streets and not the voice of the snitches. Let's get right into the next story. Stunner for Vegas. Chains taken out of a whip. I think they were taken off his neck. Because he, a smart man, gets your chains taken, right? What are you going to say after that? Hmm, how do you get out of that? You just say you left him in the car and say somebody took him. He said somebody will never take the chains off my neck. Who would leave real chains in the car nobody nobody would you leave a hundred thousand on the back seat no you wouldn't don't leave anything in your car because it could get stolen okay i've had laptops and computers stolen from my car before you just don't leave things in the car so anyways he's claiming that they were taken out of the whip not off his neck hey bro you got you got got it happens okay this is why you don't roll around with too many things that are expensive it doesn't mean you're soft it just means that bad day He'll be all right. The people were showing the chains off, too. Um, Davies was kicked off a flight. Probably. Okay, I'm going to say. Now, this doesn't justify it, okay? But it was probably because he reeked of trees. You know what I mean, okay? Of a substance. Um, you could not take a shower for weeks and not get kicked off a plane, right? You could smell. You could smell of alcohol and I can get off a plane. But if you smell of tree and substance like that, you can get kicked off a plane. That's just how it is, okay? You probably got removed from the plane for that or somebody made a stink and they removed it. If there's any kind of commotion before the plane takes off, everyone's getting removed from the plane. Uh, that's just how it is. It's not right, but there's no reason to filming it and trying to paint it as this is... You know, uh, this is blame it on other things. It's just people that are difficult. Some people are just difficult in life. I've been, uh, I got kicked off a flight once because some woman started with me and I said something back to her and she got louder and they removed us both from the plane. You know, it's just like they don't play around on these planes, man. Uh, that's what it is. But, anyways, I've had a friend get kicked off a plane because he smelled like tree you know so we all had to leave the plane you know it's just this is how they operate on planes i guess you know but he'll be all right he'll catch another flight they'll be fine it's jordan tower with jt news hit that like button i'll check you guys in the next one